We'll walk around. I wanna see some tigers. Walk around. I wanna see some tigers and some peas. I really wanna hear some squeaks. Walk round the compound. No. No, you, you can't. You can't come with me. Hello, all you big cat lovers out there. <laughs> Hello, all you big cat. Okay, hold on. All right, come on, come on, let's go. We're not even. We're not even doing. We're not even doing anything. He always, cause he like any time that I come out into the driveway, he thinks that oh, there's W O R K happening, and that's his favorite word. That's his favorite word. He thinks that there's stuff. To, I think it's also because he probably saw me putting on my. Uh, it's a it's a white T-shirt that I just wrap on my head, and that's usually whenever I'm gonna be out butchering. If there's like a little bit more sun, if I'm gonna out butchering, I was mowing earlier today. So he probably thinks that there's work, but you know what? Hey, webcasting, that's the type of work. That's a type of work. You're gonna have to try to convince mom of that. But it is. It is. Come on, Bubs. Bubs. Bubbles. Let's go. Let's go. Hello, all you big cat lovers out there. It's me, Derek, again. Welcome to another super duper fantastic episode of the Walk Around the Compound webcast. Hi. Hello. Um, let's, let's, let's work on our thumbnails. Let's work on our thumbnails. Okay. I'm going to, like, this is the thing. Okay, you got to get the right angle. Got to get the... And it's also, it's like in the sun, so I gotta be, okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the Naruto run pose. And then, yeah, so. But you wanna make sure you get both arms behind and everything. Yeah, kinda like that. And then that can be for the thumbnail. <laughs> Hopefully that's enough. Hopefully that's here. This and then this one. Okay, that should be enough angles there, Melissa. Should be able to get a good one for the for the for the thumbnail. I gotta go see kitties. Did I do the thing? Did I do the thing? Hello all you big cat lovers out there. It's me, Derek, again. Welcome to another super duper fantastic episode of the Walker on the Compound webcast. I feel like I did that already. I can't remember. But since I... I went for a long time on the last one. I didn't do it, I didn't do it until like Literally the very end. Literally. It's one of my favorite uh, stand-up bits. Uh, it was from uh, one of David Cross's specials. Talking about people that misuse the word literally and like how annoying that is. Because you're literally, like, you're... The, the misuse of the word literally, or contextually, uh, you're basically using it for like the anti-purpose that it's like intended for. He was like giving the example like sports announcers, you know, and like someone makes a big tackle. And then when a sports announcer's like, I, that, that's what they say, that's what the sports announcers say. They get so they're just so taken aback by just the intensity. They don't they can't even make words. They just oh. <laughs> ah. <laughs> oh no. 
That's what they do. Bubbles, you wanted to come out here. You wanted to come out here. Now that we're in the compound, you're getting scaredy dog. He's scaredy dog. But he was talking about sports announcers and like, you know, uh, uh, big tackles made. And he's like, oh my God, he literally took his head off. And it's like, you listen to that and you're like, what? Oh my God. You look at it like, no, no, it was just a, it's just a really intense tackle. It's like, no one's head came off. No, it's like you're you're using that word so wrong. She got a little Mika in her. She got a little she got a little rotund. Ro rotundness. Rotund. <laughs> Bob, he's he's hiding he's hiding behind the car. Come here, Bobs. Come on, come on, come on. I know, he's, he's looking, he's looking at Kelly. He's like, oh my gosh, she's so scary. She's so scary. Okay, did you get, did you get some work done? Thank you so, oh my gosh, thank you so much. Helping me to get work done. You feel accomplished? Woo, you did some stuff. Good job. All right, let's go. All right, go on, go on, go on. All right. Don't look at me like that. All right, we're back, and it's just us. It's just us, Cass. Yeah, nice, nice. We're already so far behind schedule. I should have at least been like wrapping around and coming up in th this way. This whole thing got topsy turvied. Topsy turvied. It was like an excessive amount of time before we even saw cats. Took a what? Took a while. It took a while. Will will. Will will will. Will will will. Wildo. Hi. Hi. Bless you. The boy. The boy. Hold on, Noe. We'll get to you. We'll get to you. But you know what? We're gonna get to you. Uh one of the one of the last kitties for this webcast. You get first dibs often. So we're gonna give someone else like a chance. <sighs> Flintstones, meet the Flintstones, they're the modern Stone Age family. The stripey, the stripey family. Yeah, yeah, but dab but do. Oh, I gotta get going because Mr. Slate's gonna be mad at me if I'm late again. Jessica's over there. Jessica's over there making a racket. Closing doors and stuff like that. I mean, of course, try, you know, getting things done, you know, so she clean Cassie's inside. Clad Cassie's, in, Cassie's interior sections. For inside the vet center. But, uh, just how inconsiderate. Ooh, these sleepy, sleepy girls. I 
thought maybe she was gonna do a roll to the other side. But I was wrong. Hi. Hi, pretty. Hi, baby. Jeez, look at them. Look at those little, look at them little flies. They're coming out. All right. Where's Max? He's normally over here. Night, darling. Yeah, and I know, it's the Antonio Banderas. Basically, just like, oh, you're just puss in boots. Sure. <laughs> I guess, yes. Which is a fantastic, the, la the latest Puss in Boots movie is a fantastic movie. If you haven't seen it, it's really good. You know who says hi. You know. Oh, we got uh, one and two and three and four little houses. Mike, why would you have so many houses? I thought that this is going to be for Juno in June, but that's just... I'm so confused. Well, yes, Juno is going to live in here, but I mean, there's maybe some other ones that are going to be joining her. What? The, the, I'm, I spoke too soon. I gave too much away. Forget I said anything. Just Melissa, uh, cut that part out. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, Luca. <laughs> it's <laughs> wink, wink. Nay, mm. nay. Whoa. Oh boy. Someone's barking. Da 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 the spicy senorita Juno. So much spice. Hi. Look at those teeth. Look at those teeth. And. Yeah. She is 23 years old and she has young kitty teeth. You wanna know why? But wanna know why? Whoa, <laughs> I didn't even see you. Hold on, just hang tight. You're not supposed, we're not supposed to talk about you yet. But she's got young kitty teeth because of the way that we feed. Whole carcass. The fact that uh anytime that we feed a horse leg or a cow leg or a shoulder a chunk that is not just muscle and meat tissue but it's ligament it's cartilage it's sinew it's it's fat tissue fascia 
fascia is like that uh, that, that that weird kind of stretchy plasticky filmy stuff like that goes in between tissue layers um it's the soft tissue at the ends of joints and bones softer bits of bone it's the hide it's the fur all of that they get a piece of that in the evening and then usually we give them uh like depending on what time of year it might be the next 12 between 12 and 36 hours and they will just eat and chew and graze and chew again and sleep and chew and chew and chew and it just very psychologically healthy psychologically satisfying for them but it's incredibly good for their dental health for their gum health their toothuses now especially when you're talking about these animals their canines actually go like their her the roots of her canines go all the way back to like underneath like their her eyeballs and if problems happen with big cat teeth they can potentially be like really serious just because uh, they drill so deep into their heads. No, not yet. Not yet. Hi, Jessica. She doesn't know that we were we were talking about her, and she's not gonna know until she watches this. <laughs> <laughs> She doesn't suspect a thing. Hi. Hi, Malika. Hi, pretty. 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 Oh, she is purring. Ooh. Are you purring? Look at you, pretty girl. He's a good girl. He's a good girl. Yeah. Hey, pretty girl. Hey, pretty girl. Oh, pretty girl. Look at you. Just and she's slobbering. Oh my gosh. What a mess. What a mess. What a mess. No. Speaking of mess. Oh my gosh. You were making. Oh my. Oh, jeepers. Jeepers, Krim. Goliath. <laughs> he's like, what are you just grabbing pieces? <laughs> he's just grabbing pieces. And <laughs> do you smell me? <gasps> I think he smells me. I think he's I think he cut a whiff. It's like he's grabbing pieces and just like shaking his head. <laughs> just letting it just kind of fly around. Hi. You purring too. He's purring too. Okay, eat your dinner. Alright. Now we can talk about you. Now we can talk about you. Oh, now I see. I see. She doesn't want to talk to me. Wait. Oh, no. She fell down. Oh, my gosh. The Greebles did it again. Did the Greebles push you down? It's one of Greebles' favorite sports, uh, lion tipping. It's way more intense than cow tipping. And this is another thing, like, I grew up around, I grew up around cows. Like, I'd never heard of, like, anyone being able to tip one. It just, I'm sure, and I've, but, well, because I've heard, like, because there was, like, some farm kid I remember talking to him like, yeah, what do you ever do that? And he's like, I think that if you ever like tried to do it, you literally would just, <laughs> you would have to like, hey, there's the cow over there. And sometimes, like most of the, a lot of times they do, they, like they don't all sleep standing up sometimes, they, but it's like most of the time they'll actually lay down. But yeah, um, he was saying just like, all right, if, if a cow was kind of dozing off and standing up like way over there, you would literally just have to like, you know, book it just like, <laughs> or, just, or Naruto, Naruto run. <laughs> 
and then like do like you know like a flying just kind of like good <laughs> like a torpedo into the cow uh and then like get up and like ah, and then run away like that's how it would have to work it's not like a thing where you could sneak up and just like me and push and it's just like Murp. it just no that's that's tomfoolery that's not how it works I'm not saying that, I don't think that that, when I say that kid that I talked to, I don't think that he ever actually did anything like that, but he was just speculating, like, I think that's the only way that you could get that to work. <laughs> I'm like, well, you're the expert. Did you tell that truck, did you tell that truck to get out of here? <laughs> I don't think you needed to. I think it was just driving past. It was literally just, it was just driving. It was just driving. It was just driving in the road. And Gibson is like, hey, yeah, keep it moving. <laughs> ah, greetings. Oh. oh, goodness. What do we, uh, what do we got going on here? Mm. Contestants, <laughs> claim your prize behind curtain number one, two, or three. Goodness gracious, you're losing air. This is Roman. That's Roman. Roman is a very good eater. He eats very, very well. Yes, he does. He does. He's really good at it. He eats everything that we give him. And he likes ground chicken. He likes ground horse. And then he gets uh, day old chicks. Uh, he likes eggs. And he eats all of it. He's very, very good. Okay. Hi. Oh, oh, oh. Whoa, Jeepers Grim. I'm so sorry. Hi, sweetie. So, this is Luna. This is Luna. So, Roman and Luna. They are usually, they can be, they, it's like, it's a spectrum. Sometimes they're hissy, and sometimes they're just like, okay, what's up? They seem to be a little bit hissy right now. But that's okay. That's okay. And then this is cheese. Oh my gosh, lungy. No, that's not, his name is Loki. So yeah, Roman, Luna, I, gee, sorry bud, hey, hey, it's okay, Roman, Luna, and Loki, and they are Asian leopard cats, three Asian leopard cats, and they got taken, uh, or seized or rescued. They're part of a, a breeding operation where uh, you take Asian leopard cats and then you can mix them with other, you know, like domestics and domestic adjacent. And then that's how you can make, you know, uh, the pets like Bengals and stuff like that. Little Bengal cats. But, you know, much like anything, sometimes the uh, situation is uh, thoughtful and clean and good and takes care of the animal's welfare and then sometimes they're not. And these guys came from one of the latter. Wasn't the best. Wasn't the best place. But uh, they're here now. And they are adjusting to life. They're all here we're trying to fatten them up, and we're trying to uh, monitor them. Loki, in particular, he's pretty sick. They were all, they all had issues. They all had, hi, hi Roman, hi Roman. 
hi, Mr. Roman Man. Hey, big guy. It's okay. You're a good boy. You got it. But also trying to get them, you know, accustomed to, you know, like starting to get them more familiarized with <laughs> our little toony, our little toony pants, our little tuna head, old Junie tuna head. The idea is that the four of them, um, because yes, she's a Margay, and yes, they're Asian leopard cats, but there's a lot of genetic similarity. Oh, they're all fixed, by the way. That all happened before they got here. But there's a lot of genetic similarity. Um, a lot of a lot of these like small cat species, they you know can coexist and interbreed anyway. Um, out in the wild. Now, of course, like Asian leopard cats and margays, margays are Central American, South American Asian leopard cats. They wouldn't naturally run across each other, but there's a lot. What I'm saying is that there's a lot of like of these like small spotted species. Um, and they seem to do pretty well mixing and cohabitating. And we're kind of hoping that this one and those three will be able to do the same. And we have, we have a lot of confidence. Uh, and like, well, aren't you worried about Juno? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, <laughs> not at all. They're all, they're all kind of like, ah, and kind of spitty hissy and everything, but that's towards us. Um, Juno's a whole different kind of animal. She'll be able to, I, she'll be able to take care of herself. They're all the same size. That's the thing. They're all the, the same size. And the idea is to put them out into that, you know, enclosure out there and they'll all be able to, you know, hang out. And if they don't, if they're, if they're not really digging the other's chili, they've got plenty of space to, to kind of figure something out. To find a better, a, a better situation. Yeah. Turn their spa music back on. It was something with a, there was a bear and like pianos and stuff like that. But yeah, pretty cool. Richard Baga, Richard Baga, Richard Baga. Love it, love it. Nice. Good job, bud. <laughs> oh, oh, Richard Packer. Everyone's everyone's watching the show. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're just putting it on, aren't you? Look at that. Sweet. All right. All right. All right. This is a tiger ball. It's not a dog ball, but. You don't care, do you? Yeah, he loves, he stinking, he loves that. Loves that thing. Look at, look at, look at. Get it, bring it, bring it here. Mine, 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 mine. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Get it, get it, get it, take it, run. Come on. See if he see if he gets it and brings it over here. It's just so goofy. Look at <laughs> Good boy. <laughs> good boy. Hey good boy bobbles. Yeah. Alright. Alright. Thanks for watching this episode of the Walk Around the Compound webcast. Hashtag Dorbus Award in the comment section below. Like and subscribe for all of your big cat goodness. And if you want to learn more about the facility around me, you can always visit the website carerescuetexas.com for more information. You keep them tigers fed. Big shout out to the extra fancy patrons. I see you. You are so fancy and thank you so much for your continued support. We'll see you next time. All right. Bye-bye. Walk around the compound, 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 walk around the compound.